32,000 euros per monitor as you may already have seen on my channel i'm building a ridiculous home studio over here with an actual ssl console atc monitors a bunch of outboard gear over there i keep getting the question from you all what i would buy with your budget so i thought let's make a video on what to buy when you're on a budget let's go if you're like me, you have spent a lot of time on the internet trying to find the ultimate setup for your room. And trust me, I have spent a lot of money I didn't have to spend during all those long nights of trying to find the right gear. And I kind of want to help prevent you from draining your bank account like I drained mine. So today we're going to figure out what setup works best for a budget of, let's say, 800 euros, a budget of 2,000 euros, and then let's do one where we can actually have some fun and do 10,000 euros, which seems like a lot of money, but when you spend it on gear... So what do I need in a recording setup? Now, today we are going to focus on vocal recording and mixing and producing. So we need a vocal mic, a stand for the vocal mic. We need a pop filter for that mic. We need a microphone cable, then that goes into an interface, some monitors, two preferably, the cables to go to those monitors. We need a headphone because you need to listen to what you're doing while you're recording. And even though it is the most important thing in getting your music to sound the best, I am just going to pretend that you already have treated your room and we're not going to include any acoustic material because that's just too room specific and you can do it for 200 bucks, you can do it for 20,000 bucks. We'll just leave that out of the equation and just focus on the gear first. For today's video, we will be using turnlab.be to find all the gear that we need for our setups. Turnlab is also the sponsor of today's video, so massive thanks to them. If you haven't checked out their website yet, go do that right now. They have everything from monitors to microphones, every microphone you need. 251s, 47s, and they've got a bunch more stuff for all the audio nerds like we are. But the coolest things they have is actually over here. That is the used instruments. So that's actually like a Model D mini Moog stuff like a Wurlitzer over here, Arp Omni. They've got a bunch of cool synths. And another legendary piece they have is the Roland TR-808 drum computer on which I just did a comparison with the plugin in a new plugin versus hardware video. So if you want to check that out, I never know which corner it's going to be, but it's going to pop up in the corner and you can head over to that video and see how that 808 compares to the plugin in the box. Okay, I think we have done enough talking. It is time to figure out the first setup. I'm giving myself a budget of about 800 euros. So let's see what we can get for that. Let's start at the beginning. We'll go to microphones first. Now we're on a budget, so we're going to select lowest price over here. So we got the C3000, the NT1A, could be, could be. There's a lot of people recording with Rode NT1As. Aston Origin is maybe more in my lane. And then I think maybe the WA47 Junior. Let's not go too crazy on this side and let's go for the Origin and then continue shopping, yes, because we need more stuff. Interfaces, because we need to connect to an interface. The Volt 1, okay, that's only 170. On the website, you can see that the bigger numbers are the ones without the tax included. And I am, of course, going for the smaller number down below, which is the price with the tax, because my budget is including the tax. Okay, so the Volt 1 is a contester. Audience ID14 is a really great one. I think we're going to keep it a little bit more on the low side. So let's do the Volt 1. We're at 400 euros. We're already halfway through our budget. We need monitors, don't we? Ooh, monitors, lowest price, Rodipe, 
Pro 5. I do not know these monitors, which I do know are the Kelly Audio LP6s. I was just at Cali Audio headquarters in LA two weeks ago, I think, and I've had a listen to an Atmos setup with their monitors. And I have to say, it sounded pretty good, especially for that price. So I think for 178 bucks, we are going to get two of these. We need a headphone because if we're going to record, we need to know what we're listening to. We're not going for a 1,652 euro headphone. Sorry head, the headphone is great, but it's not fitting the budget right now. I think we need to keep it cheap and we should just go for this one. It's 71 bucks. We actually have to see if we're already over budget. Ah, uh, we're already over budget. 818 euros. Yeah, maybe we need cheaper monitors. Lowest price. It is going to save us 140 bucks add to cart check out if we take out the Kali's I'm very sorry Kali audio yeah that's 680 and then we're going to have to get to the stuff that we're going to need for any setup we're doing regardless and that's a microphone cable so this is a cordial six meter XLR cable that will work fine it's 26 bucks so that's going in there. And of course, we're going to need two TRS cables for the monitors. So let's add two of those. Luckily, those are only 12 bucks a pop. Of course, we're going to need a mic stand, which is 45 bucks. We need a pop filter over here. You're thinking like, okay, I've got a budget and I need to stay within that. And you're counting all the gear and you're like oh, okay cool I, I stayed within budget and then you're going to do all the extra bits that you need to actually hook up the gear and then it's going to be another which seems like a hundred something bucks you need to take that into account because now we actually are six euros over budget we are going to wipe this basket and we are going to find a new setup for two thousand euros microphones first so i'm thinking getting a microphone of about five or six hundred euros maybe maybe the austrian audio stuff is cool we can have a little bit more money i know a lot of you are going to say sm7b oc18 set i know the the austrian audio stuff and it's really great we could also do a WA87, C314. I'm thinking that the OC18 sounds better than that. And the warm is also a bit more flavorful than that. Let's start with the OC18. Then an interface. Let's say that was 750-ish, including tax. So let's go for 700 max on the interface. Ooh, that already brings us awfully close to the 2000 mark. Maybe an SSL 2 plus. Audion ID22 could be a good option here. Apogee Duet 3. Okay, I'm sold. Let's do that. Then in terms of monitors, maybe this time I will go for the Kali Audios. We know that they sound good and we still don't have the craziest budget so on a budget i think i'll go for maybe the lp8s now so we can go a little bit bigger maybe when you're spending two thousand bucks you have a bit of a bigger room more room for that low end to go so let's go for the lp8s and see if we are already over budget and we are okay and we still need a headphone. I don't want to cut any corners on the interface because that's going to be the heart of the studio setup. So I'm guessing that the Austrian audio, we have to downgrade. Now maybe we can still get an Austrian audio mic because I did see they have the OC16 as well, which is really great and it's almost half the price. I've heard great things about this mic. So I'm pretty sure that we'll be okay with this setup. And then we have 230 euros to spare. So we actually can get a nice headphone. We could do uh, an Austrian headphone, 230 we have, right? So this is 200. The Aventones are more mixed headphones. 
So they're open back with recording vocals and everything that would bleed out into the mic too much. So we're definitely looking for a closed back headphone. I was thinking maybe we could get a closed pair and an open pair. So we could get the 990s for mixing and the 770s for recording. But I'm thinking we just have to stick with the Biodynamic DT770 for now. Then we have about 90 bucks to spare, which is also nice sometimes to have some leftover money and actually not have to ask your mom for extra money to buy gear. Okay, and then let's go for the last option in which I gave myself a little bit more of a budget because I gave myself 10,000 euros and I'm really curious if I can stay within the budget. Now we are going to level up this setup so I do want to add an external preamp because I do feel that is a really significant upgrade to our vocal recording setup and it gives us a lot of versatility if we want to swap that preamp out or we want to add a compressor after it or maybe an EQ and that way we can upgrade little tiny bits and pieces of the setup. Okay, microphones. We could almost, at this budget, get a Telefunken U47, you know? Or an Elam 251. 14,000 bucks for a microphone. I still really wanna get it though. Okay, we've got 10K. So the first thing that I wanted to do was spend 6K on a mic. I don't think that's a really good idea. So I'm going to go for a mic that I know and I trust the Neumann U87. It is going to be 2,600 euros, which is a pretty penny, but I know this mic is worth it. Besides the fact that I know that it's a great sounding mic and I can get great recordings out of it, I also know that this will hold its value. It's Neumann, it's an established brand, it's the 87, it's one of the most popular microphones in the world. So if I'm going to sell it later on, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to sell it at that much of a loss. And maybe it'll even become like a vintage holy grail thing and I'll sell it for 10,000, 15,000, I don't know, what, what do vintage U67s go for? 15k okay then it's up to the interface we can spend a little bit more money on it but i don't want to go crazy crazy especially if, because we don't need all that inputs and outputs for full band recording or drum recording or something of that nature two inputs two outputs maybe four in four out if we want to be able to do hardware inserts later on fireface you see maybe Avid Mbox Studio could be a really good option. Antelope is good. Apollo is good. We could go Apollo, we could go Avid. I do really like all the functionality of the Avid Mbox Studio though. Especially if you look at the front of the unit, it has two combo XLRs that takes mic signal, line signal, and instrument signal. So you can plug in two mics, you can plug in your outboard gear or your external preamps. You can plug in your synths or bass. It has a high Z out to an amp, so you can reamp actually. Two headphone outputs, which is so crucial because you need one for yourself as an engineer and one for your artist that's recording. And then on the back, you've got a lot of other options as well. It has digital connections on SPDIF and optical, so you can expand your setup later on with external converters, main monitor outputs, alt monitor outputs. It has an effects send and return. It has a line in 5.6. It has more preamps. It has a lot of stuff that you would need in a studio. So expandability wise, I think this is the best bet for us right now. Let's add to cart preamp. Oh wow. Mystery magicians. I really want to know what this thing is about. I have never heard of it. Looks really cool though. Mystery Magicians. V72, is this actually modeled after the Siemens V72? Pays homage to the iconic V72 modules. Okay, turn lab, we need to talk. I need to try this preamp. Warm Audio has these old amp packs things, which are great. And the Heritage Audio 1073s, of course. But then we also need a power supply and then it, it'll quickly be 6,000 bucks for 
stereo pair so let's not go there the tube tech mp2a is amazing as well i think they have yeah they have channel strips as well heritage audio yes that was what i was looking for i was looking for a heritage audio 1073 style preamp and this is going to give us more options because this brit strip has a 1073 style preamp built in it has an eq built in and it has a compressor built in so we can already color that vocal a lot on the way in and i'm a big fan of that so i'm thinking we're going for this rather than a separate preamp and then a separate eq and a separate compressor so how much money do we have left five thousand so including vat that's six so we have 4k left so that is two thousand per monitor Ooh, amphions maybe can we do amphions so that's 2k and then the 18 oh that's 3k so that's ah oh, this is just over budget 2k and 2.2k so that's 4.2k ah we went over is there anything i want to cheapen out on i don't think so okay we need to stay under 2k a piece 10 32 c's are nice they're pretty big though they're big monitors i installed them in a studio two or three years ago and they were sounding great definitely with the sam stuff with the calibration stuff Genelec has built in Genelecs are a little bit too big for a home studio setup atoms are good and the focal twin 6be's are really great options as well i think i would go for the twin sixes in this case let's see check out Woo! We've got 500 bucks left. Maybe we can get a nice extra headphone. I mean, I would love to get the headphone too by head audio, but I just don't have the 1600 bucks to spare, unfortunately. I would go for the Allo Audios, I think. So we have a nice pair of reference headphones for mixing as well. I think that would be my shopping cart over here. Okay, then let's have some fun 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 because 10k is fun but you know what's more fun than 10k an unlimited budget let's just see what crazy stuff they have and get the same items without looking at prices well actually looking at prices but looking at the most expensive prices first let's head into microphones well we had a glimpse already highest price elam 251 come to me baby okay we're 14,000 euros in and then monitors i saw some crazy ones already i don't know if you've seen them but yes <laughs> 32,000 euros per monitor and we're getting two of them add to cart then we are going to need an interface we can get a goliath hd but we can also get an apogee symphony okay so let's go for the most expensive thing and that is the antelope goliath hd that's another seven thousand bucks if turnlab can see this shopping cart in real time they're going crazy like oh is someone actually spending this amount of money what we're going to be rich psych it's me 80 series power supply heritage let me get the 6673 i'm really curious about this i need a headphone for mixing so i'm definitely going to get the headphone 2 now by head because i've got unlimited money continue shopping let's go we need a headphone for the artist as well yeah i think we can go for the austrian audio one i heard some of them at nam i don't know if i heard this specific one but from what i've heard they're pretty damn good so add to cart that is everything we needed we have a microphone we have monitors crazy monitors we have an interface we have a preamp headphone for the engineer headphone for the artist i just want to get a compressor do we have something crazy yeah we have something crazy the stem audio 670 the fairchild 670 clone by stem audio that's added to the cart we're almost at 100k so i'm just trying to try to spend as much money as possible let's just throw in an eq as well highest price yes the curve bender i'm pretty sure it's amazing so let's just 
go there. And I think, ooh, yes. We went over 100K. So for a vocal recording setup for 107,257 euros, this is what I got. An XLR cable, three TRS cables. We might need more. A K&M stand, a pop filter, an Elam 251, my telephone can. We got the Genelec 8381A main monitors twice. The Antelope Audio Goliath HD. We've got the Heritage Audio 8 channel power supply for the Heritage Audio 6673 preamp module. We've got the Headphone 2 by Hat Audio. We've got the Austrian Audio HI-X60. We've got the Stem Audio Stem Childs and the Chandler Curvebender. I'm just going to say proceed to checkout. And I'm just going to write a really nice email to TurnLab to ask me if this was uh, within our sponsor budget, that I could get all of this stuff for free. I can, right, guys? Right? Honestly, that was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed this video. And let me know down in the comments if you agree with the setups I picked or if you would have gone for something else maybe. Also again, a huge thank you to TurnLab for enabling me to make videos like this. And I hope you liked it. And if you did, let me know down in the comments if I should do another video like this, maybe on a setup for drum recording or full band recording, you name it. If you like this video, please, it means a lot to me if you could leave a like down below and subscribe to my channel. And if you wanna go more in depth on anything engineering related, do hit the join button over there. It will take you to the virtual internship where you get to see everything that goes on in my life as an engineer and inside of the walls of the recording studio. That also goes a long way in supporting this channel and making sure I can afford it to Free up some time to create these fun videos for you all that you hopefully also learn from. That is it for me. I'll see you on the next one. Later.